Hello and welcome to this special instructional video on TSA TV in which we're going to show you how to replace the hard disk in your brand new PlayStation 4. Now for the purposes of this video you are going to need one of these. This is a two and a half inch common laptop hard disk drive. The PlayStation 4 recognizes up to 1.5 terabytes. The important thing to remember with these is that you don't get one which is any deeper the 9.5 millimeters because they won't fit. A lot of these higher capacity drives go up to, some of them go up to like 12 and a half millimeters. A lot of them are sort of around the sort of 10.2, 10.3 mark. Um, they won't fit. So you need to specifically look for one which is only 9.5 millimeters in sort of height. And then any SATA 2, two and a half inch laptop hard disk drive will do. This one is one terabyte because it's very difficult to find 1.5 terabyte ones and the two terabyte ones are too big. The PlayStation won't use that whole capacity, so that's a bit of a waste. Um, you will also need one of these. This is a two millimeter crosshead or Phillips screwdriver. Um, and you are going to need one of these. This is a PlayStation 4. Um, so we're gonna bring the camera over, get a, a view down on what I'm doing. Um, I haven't done this before. I haven't looked, the PlayStation hasn't been turned on. I haven't gone through this to check it, so we're gonna see exactly how easy it is for a, a sort of a, a first time as soon as you open the box, person that doesn't really have a clue what they're doing. Um, so let's bring the camera over, point it down, and we'll, we'll crack on. So here we go, here's the PlayStation 4. Um, here's the hard disk, this is anti-static, so you do have to um, sort of ground yourself first. I believe that can be done by touching a radiator or there are little wristbands that people get. I've never known anybody to ever kill electronic equipment with static before, so whether or not you do that, that's totally up to you. Now, apparently this is nice and easy. Okay, what we have to do here, um, we have to slide this black glossy bit off the top. So I think the easiest way to do it is to give it a bit of a lean and we push. That just unclips nice and easy and it's off. Um, and then we have a little screw in here. This is the, you're looking for the screw with the PlayStation symbols around it. Um, we just get the screwdriver in there and we'll get it open. And it came out very easily. And then you're looking for the little lip. You can just pull that out and the hard disk comes out with it. Now the hard disk will have these four little black screws either way. Um, we have to get those out. So we'll crack on with that like so. Nice and easy. Probably not a wise thing to do this over the chassis of your PlayStation 4, just in case one of these screws falls out and disappears. Um, nobody ever accused me of having too much common sense. So let's just crack on. Get her done quick. And last one. There we go. And then the hard disk just slips out of the caddy like so. We'll put that to one side. And you need your brand new hard disk. Get rid of that static casing. Um, now it goes in this way up, labeled to the top, and the connections to the open edge of the dock. And then these screws have to go back in. They should all line up easy enough. It's a good idea to put these in loosely to begin with and then go around and tighten the four of them up again, just so that you get the hard disks nice and sort of centered. And you're not tightening them up too much. That one corner will twist it out of shape. And that's the last one, just get it a start. And then we'll just give them all another extra little turn. Make sure they're tight. They don't have to be too tight, but you're gonna to wanna to cut down vibration as much as you can. These hard disks do have moving parts in them, so it's always a good idea just to make sure they're firm. And then the hard disk just goes back on and slides in till the holes line up. And then your little PlayStation branded screw, I don't know if you can see that, with the symbols on it. That goes back in the hole. Like, so, 
and just screw that up tight. Now this bit has to go back on, obviously the PS symbol goes to the bottom back corner. Um, it has kind of, it has catches inside it so we have to make sure they line up here. So if you sort of hook it on the back and then it'll slide on the front, get it on so that you've got maybe half a centimetre's gap there and then it should just click back into shape. And there it is, click back into shape. And that should be it, that done. Okay, um, just while we're here, um, there were some reports about the PlayStation lying horizontally and it, it has a problem with wobble because of the stand. So um, people were pushing down on the corner and the PlayStation wobbles. So just while we're here, I've got a quick fix for you for that as well. Um, simply take your finger and stop pushing down on the corner and it stops wobbling. Magic. And so that's a wrap. So there you go, I think you'll agree that was incredibly easy. It went a lot more smoothly than I expected it to. Certainly easier than with the PlayStation 3. It had those little tiny hard screws that you couldn't get off and a lot of people burred the, the thread on the screws. Um, this was so simple, uh, an awful lot quicker than I expected it to go. Um, and now my PlayStation 4 has a one terabyte hard disk drive in it and I'm gonna go and fill it up. Thanks for watching. Thank you.